We know Texans love beer, so that's why we've been making it a mission to seek out breweries who can really pack a bunch. That's why we're here at Rar & Sons Brewing Company. They've been making a name for themselves since 1847. Need I say more? Since 2004, this spacious brewery has become the hot spot for social gatherings. We met with the brewery's creative director, Jeff Wood, for the inside scoop. How long have y'all been brewing beer and serving up the people here in Texas? The Rar family has been brewing, or in the brewing industry, for about 175 years. Fritz, which is one of the great, great grandsons, moved to Fort Worth on a scholarship for swimming for TCU fell in love with the city and decided to stay here and open this brewery 15 years ago. Um, we have everything from a very traditional um, German style Helles blonde lager um, all the way to a, we'll brew a double hoppy IPA. Yeah. Okay, and so first thing that I noticed when um, I took a look at your tap room was the names of the beers. Right. So how do you come up with them? Because they're pretty clever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally keep a notepad next to my bed and I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll jot down notes Sometimes I can read them in the morning and sometimes I can't. <laughs> so some of, the, some of the concepts and ideas for names come from that. Um, I usually have a few names kind of sitting in the, in, the, in the wings that I'm like waiting for the right beer to come along that the right. brewers get excited about. All right, so talking about these beers has gotten me thirsty and I'm ready to try some. Okay. Do you mind if we get our hands on some of them and see what it's all Let's about? Do it. All right, thanks, beer. thanks Jeff. The moment I've been waiting for right. is to finally taste the, the beers. Beer. <laughs> yeah, and we're behind the bar, so yeah. I'm feeling kind of cool, like bartender-ish. Yeah. All right, so what do you got serving up? Uh, the cool thing about the blonde is this is a special tap handle. This is Fritz Rar's mom. Um, she is the inspiration behind the Rar's blonde. It's clean, it's crisp, it's no frills. Um, it's an extremely difficult beer to produce because the cleaner the beer, the harder it is to make. Right when you said clean, that's exactly yeah. what I felt whenever yeah. I drank this beer. There's nothing, no, there's no frills to it. It right. is just a nice, crisp, yeah. clean beer. Yeah. I liked it. This is our dadgum IPA. Okay. I just wanted to envision people walking to bars saying, give me a dadgum IPA. <laughs> so that's where the whole name came okay. from with this one. So, okay. uh, West Coast style, uh, hoppy, juicy, fruity. Uh, it's going to have the bitterness to it. Yeah. It has everything that you want. Daggum! That's good. Go. I think I got it. Nailed yeah. it. This is our most award-winning beer that we make. Okay. This is our Oktoberfest. It's a traditional German Meritzen lager. It's won three Great American Beer Festival medals. Um, we've won numerous overseas medals with it in, in Europe, which is a big deal to go to Europe and win a medal. Uh, earthy, um, very bready, uh, malty, okay. sweet. What do you say? Prost? Prost. Prost. Okay, one we more. Do, we do Prost, y'all. We have all of these nicely poured up here, but we have a can right in front of right. us. So what's the story behind it? It's a traditional American lager. It's for that customer that's just tired of all the craziness and they're like, I just want a beer. So the story behind the design is um, the top part of it, I kind of recreated from an old um, RAR family can. And the bottom of it is the Shield logo that we have on all of our cans, all of our core brands. But it's a traditional American lager made with craft beer ingredients. It's a craft version of American light beer. Pros, salute. You know what, this reminds me exactly of something that my dad would drink. My dad yeah. is not into craft beer, he's kind of nervous. I don't think he really just wants to explore out of his horizons, yeah. right? But this, if I were to give this to him, I think that he would truly enjoy yeah. this. Let's talk about some other things besides the beer. You also host uh, a couple of events uh, weekly. Uh, we've been hosting uh, Wednesday midweek tastings and Saturday weekend tour and tastings where we invite the public to come out. Recently with the introduction of Beer to Go, where craft breweries in Texas can now sell Beer to Go, we decided to open up Thursdays and Fridays as well. Awesome. It's 15 bucks, you get three beers, you get a souvenir pint glass to keep. Um, there's food trucks and live music, so it's, I think it's, it's the best deal in town. So all this booze has got me hungry, and luckily for us there's a food truck here, so let's have a ball. Howdy y'all, how are y'all? Hi guys, welcome to Let's All Have a Ball. How can I help you? Awesome, so I see some 
Al Pastor Mac and Cheese. Al Pastor Mac and Cheese. It's a truck made Al Pastor, pork Al Pastor. We top it with a little bit of a chef inspired uh, pineapple serrano salsa and then a chip on the side, make it look pretty. We got the mac and cheese al pastor and yeah, it has the works. I would have never thought to combine mac and cheese with al pastor and here I am eating al pastor and mac and cheese and it's delightful. It might be the best thing I've done this whole entire year. So we have to have a mac and cheese ball. I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. And it's like mac and cheese but with spaghetti. With a little bit of bread. And it's kind of like the best two things in life combined. In a meatball. What better way to finish off the evening than with an original beer with over 150 years of history? Well, we do it the Raw and Sons way with a quality brewed, community strong, Texas proud cheer. Taste these delicious beers for yourself by visiting the link below for beer listings and brewery information. Now it's your turn to explore, so make sure to stop by Bandera, Texas for the 15th annual Bandera Cowboy Mardi Gras going on February 12th through the 15th.